There's a hint of fall in the air, and that means Halloween is just around the corner. It's a holiday that one family in Daphne prepares for all year. Driving down this street in the Lake Forest subdivision in Daphne, you won't see many Halloween decorations until you get to this house. This Halloween is definitely my favorite holiday. For the past 10 years, John Cowan has turned his home into a haunted house attraction on Halloween night. It started as a pumpkin carving party with all of our friends and we used to decorate and it's just grown. That pumpkin party is now a full-fledged haunted house party that has hundreds visiting each year, something most of the neighbors don't seem to mind. When we first moved here, from we moved from Fairhope over here and the first thing I asked was how many trick-or-treaters do you get? And they said, uh, about 25. I said, well, that's going to change, so, you know, just hold on. John was right. Last year, almost 600 people traveled to see what this carnival of screams is all about. Well, there will be about 15 life-size clowns out here. In the front yard, you'll see an animatronic show complete with stage lights, a bearded lady, and some other surprises. Then you'll travel through a maze of all things spooky and scary until you reach the backyard, something John wants to keep a secret for now. But the house isn't too scary. On a scale of 1 to 10, John gives it a 6. I'm more fun than scary. I mean, we're going to try to get you if you go in the back, but this, you know, there's no horror scenes or anything like that. And he promises it is kid friendly. I'm doing this for kids mainly to come up and have a good time. The event opens on Halloween night, then John and his wife will take a short break and the building and planning starts back up again right after Christmas. John says the first 400 kids to visit will get free cotton candy and there's never an admission charge. To find out more about the Carnival of Screams, including the location, find this story on our website, WKRG.com.